Hello, good morning or good evening, whatever you're watching this from. I uh, hope you enjoyed yesterday's video and we are back with another video. It's going to be a, a short walk along Dufferin Street, it's one of the main streets in uh, Toronto. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. It's um, raining today, surprisingly, it's on the 20 we're on the 26th of April uh, today and the temperature is around 8 degrees. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's slightly raining. So enjoy the walk. See ya. Dufferin Street, right there. <laughs> That's the main to, uh, Dufferin Street bus, number 29. And another one <laughs> following it. it. Looks quite empty. These are the old houses. I live in one of them, at least at the moment. So uh, they were mainly built around the 1940s and 1950s. Look pretty though. There's one for rent. Yeah, it looks um, the city or the street looks calmer than now. Uh, what it what it was yesterday. Or maybe, probably because it's raining and it's Sunday. This is a beautiful house. All blacked out. So we're walking from Dufferin and Dewpoint uh, Street intersection. Uh, we're walking south towards the waterfront. Um, I will <clears throat> soon be uh, at Dufferin and Bloor intersection. Here's a car repair shop. They also sell a few cars, used cars. 
stuff for number four. We're now at Dufferin and Shanley intersection. Now, the Shanley Street is not it's not one of the major streets. So I know they're quite big, but they're not as big as Bloor, Queen, uh, King, or Spadina streets or Dufferin, for that matter. Um, but yeah, so that's Dufferin and Shanley intersection. It's a bus stop. Trees are trying to is are starting to get green. Excellent. Now for the winter, of course, um, the leaves fall. Um, obviously, for for multiple reasons. Yeah, it's nice to see uh, spring. Although it's not spring, it's raining. Well, what the hell. Very quiet. Here's another nice blacked out house. Black with a, how's that, pine porch, right? The streets around here, around Toronto are, is, is capped at 40 kilometers per hour. It used to be 50, but I think they recently, um, updated the speed limits around the city to uh, to make it 40 40 kilometers per hour I guess it's safer for everybody um, for the fact there's a lot of cyclists and pedestrians which is great it's um, certainly helpful for the environment Now this building is, I think, the first Bell office or headquarters, or Bell headquarters. Now uh, for my Emirati friends, um, Bell is like Etisalat, basically, so uh, yeah, one of the main carriers here. Yeah. The Bell Telephone Company. Metro station at the Dufferin station. The metro, one of the main metros, metro lines, run through um, Lohr. So they kind of slice Toronto uh, horizontally in half. And that's uh, Lohr. There's Laura. Well, there's Duffer.
still walking on Dufferin Street, um, heading south to the uh, waterfront. We're not going to go all the way to the waterfront, but <laughs> probably to the um, second intersection. Okay, I don't know if you can see this. Um, this is KFC. It's a standalone building. Um, it is KFC and Taco Bell, though. Um, apparently, it's the same company here. And that's uh, Dufferin Mall. So you get uh, Walmart, uh, Marshalls. You uh, big stores here. And there is the liquor store. Um, for you to buy hard hard liquors here, you need to buy from um, from the government, which is LCDO, which is I think liquor. Council Board of Ontario. I'm uh, not sure, but I'll try to put it somewhere on the screen. <laughs> That's Dufferin and Dufferin Park Avenue. We're still walking on Dufferin. That's Dufferin Mall. The whole thing here is the mall. That's the parking. These are the uh, city bikes. Just kind of around the city. Quite useful. Um, I think a single trip cost around three twenty-five, and an annual membership, which is a limited ride for a year, cost ninety-nine. No, Frittles is one of the supermarkets, one of the hypermarkets, let's say, for groceries. There's still Duffer Mall. So you have Walmart and No Frills, hypermarkets, 
in one mole. getting windy. That's Sylvan Avenue and Dufferin intersection. Bus no, number 29 again. What I like about Toronto is um, the public uh, transport uh, system. So you have bus number 29, this slice. Well, first of all, Toronto is a grid system, right? Uh, if you look at the map, you'd, you'd find it, um, it's mainly vertical and horizontal lines or streets, right? And um, pretty much buses run from the far north to the far south through every line. So you have line number 29, which is the Dufferin. Um, it goes all the way from the waterfront to um, I think St. Clair or even further. So it really covers the vertical line of Dufferin, right? And then for Bathurst, which is the, uh, the parallel street to uh, Dufferin, um, it uses a tram or, or a streetcar, so it runs the same thing uh, from the waterfront all the way to I think Bora, which is quite good. It covers pretty much downtown at this point. And then what else? We get Yonk. Yonk has a subway. Which is the parallel street to uh, to Bathurst, after Pat Bathurst. Not sure if I'm missing anything, but yeah. So this is College Street. It's one of the main intersections, College and Duff Dufferin, right? Um, now College do have, you know, does have uh, a tram system, which is this. So that tram system go all the way from the west to the east of Toronto, which is great. So that covers your, your horizontal transportation. So yeah, to wrap it up, I think we have subways, tram or streetcars, and then the buses. Now there are two types of buses. One, the express, which stops at less frequent stops. And then the normal one, which stops at every stop. Well, at least until, you know, unless you don't call for a stop.
So, so far we, we're still walking on Dufferin Street. Um, we, I'll tell the main the main street. So, we passed Dufferin and Bloor intersection. We passed Dufferin and College intersection, and soon we should be at Dufferin and uh, Dundas, which is one of the uh, horizontal streets of Toronto. Then after Dundas, you get Queen, then King, then Waterfront. Unless I'm missing anything. But at least these are the main uh, streets of downtown Toronto. That's a nice house. It says it's coming soon for sale. And normally these kind of houses go around 500 to 800,000 Canadian dollars. But then you get a factor in the uh, maintenance fees. Because the, a lot of these houses are were built in the 1940s and 1950s, like I said. So I think you might require additional services and maintenance uh, stuff to do if you're buying it on in 2020. Which you shouldn't really. You shouldn't buy a house in 2020. 2020 has been... Ah, uh, I don't get me started, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure real estate will change because of the virus. Whether in terms of markets or services or the locations, real estate will be hit really hard once we get out of this. That's a convenience store. So here, that's Dundas and Dufferin Street. It's one of the main intersections too. There's Dundas. Let's go all the way to uh, Queen, Queen and Dufferin. Once we get there, we're gonna turn around and get back home. Hope you're enjoying this walk so far. Um, if you made it all the way there, please make sure to uh, like this video, subscribe, share it, so I can know I can. I should. So I can know. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> So I can know that you, you know, that you're enjoying it, and I should, you know, I'll make more. You know what? Never mind. <laughs> yeah, but just like it, like the video. If, if you like it, if you don't like it, let me know in the comments. These are quite cool houses. I don't know if you can see the rain, but uh, it's slightly raining. Nothing uncomfortable though. It's nice. In fact, actually, it tingles when the rain drops on your head. comes the 
too fancy around here. It's Dufferin, it's still at Dufferin. Um, there's Alexander, it's more public school. few old houses around here and then you have the new developments Yeah, that's Dufferin. Dufferin Street of in Toronto, Canada. And today is the 26th of April. 2020. That's during the um, coronavirus lockdown. Now, Ontario Premier uh, Doug Ford said he might open up the economy back again uh, next week. I doubt it. We still need to stick, stay strong in this. Because we got a lot to do. The top part is the, the subway line. Sorry, not the subway, it's the train line. Train line. <laughs> I think that's the uh, up train. It goes all the way to the airport. Below this is a tunnel that access the jo you know the joints between Dufferin and um, Queen Street. We are at Dufferin and Queen Street, or at Sessional. Yeah, 
you are now uh, on Queen Street. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, uh, we're on Queen Street now and, and I'm about to head back home at Dufferin and Two Point. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like if you liked it and subscribe for more videos like this. See ya!